so we could cruise a little bit get some scenic routes a little bit which is hard to do in Chicago where you have winter time and then you have construction time maybe they can see that sunset though oh that sunset is stunning so currently guys as you know the GSF is still on its stock wheels I am waiting to put the Vossens on after my dyno day which is April 27th I want to do the dyno day on the stock wheel on the stock wheels since they do you know the dyno shop does strap up the wheels to make sure the car is strapped up nicely so I don't want any scuff marks on the Vossen so that's why we're keeping the stock wheels on until that is done and then afterwards we'll throw them on, adjust the suspension if we need to, and go from there. Currently we're cruising, I got my r, &R Racing carbon fiber intake on with the carbon fiber heat shield and muffler delete and, you know, coilovers, wheel spacers, that's basically all the mods done to this car. And she's running, she's running good, she's happy. We have, I believe we're about 17,000 miles on the car right now which is pretty low mileage for a 2016 well well below average um, the dealer that had the car it was a you know the president of the dealership drove the car so he didn't rack up very many miles on it and I stored the car in the winter time as you guys know so she doesn't drive for about four months out of the year during the winter time so my mileage is gonna stay pretty low I put it this year I put it away in November like middle of November and I took it out in what April so December January February March April five months eh, give and take depends each year is a little different out with the weather conditions so but my brother bully kid his uh, YouTube channel is growing slowly but surely how many subscribers you got I can't tell you man everything's private oh snap well it's growing he's trying to get monetized so if you guys are watching this make sure you subscribe to his youtube channel bully kid he has a lot of how to's on uh hondas and many other projects that he's up to always making things work for the least amount of money possible currently he picked up some uh sick wheels for a great deal from a honda dealership i stole from the dealership basically That's what you know how the dealership steals from customers? He stole from the dealership because he just raped them on price. I'm, I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to check out how I stole these wheels from the dealership parts department, go check out my channel. Check out that video. It is going to be coming up in the next few days. There you go. There you go. Make sure you check that out. But I got a question. So as far as the dyno, you said you're going to do it on stock wheels. But I think also stock wheels would benefit the wheel horsepower numbers too, right? Since it's a smaller wheel, it'll rotate faster. It should put down more power. Yeah, yeah, I believe you are correct. That's another reason I'm keeping these on a little bit longer to make sure I get as much power numbers as we possibly can. Because if it's showing, if it's under 400 wheel horsepower, I'm, I'm gonna be a very sad camper, let me tell you that. And, and anything counts, so even if the dyno's tilted downward a little bit, like it's <laughs> simulating a downhill momentum, that might gain us some power. That's right. But yeah, we're going April 27th, so the weather should be still pretty decent, so not heat soaking or anything. Tell people where you're going, maybe if anybody's in the Northwest, uh, Midwest, Chicago, Airland area, they can go too. Yeah, so the shop is called Blueprint Motorsports, and they're having basically an open house and a dyno day. So it's $60 to do three pulls on the dyno and a printout sheet. So that's, I'm gonna go, it's in Schaumburg check them out on Instagram or Facebook or their website and go ahead and sign up if you want to dyno your car. With wide band? That I don't know, probably not. Uh, typically they do it with wide band. That's just gonna check, the, you know, the little clip they put on your exhaust oh, pipe. Oh, okay, that's and what that is. And they just check your, 
air and fuel ratio once everything's burned. So like if you're redlining it and if they see your air F and F is wrong, you know. Yeah, okay. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully they do that. They're pretty decent shops, so they should have that. I seen that they were doing a lot of um, Evos and STIs. You know, it's an all-wheel drive dyno too, so they have to adjust it for the specification of the vehicle. But it seems like they had some nice horsepower motors over there. Like, I think the Evo was pushing 800 wheel horsepower. So, I mean, the guys know what they're doing. Yeah, you know? that's for sure. <laughs> Way up the window. Up oh, tunnel run. So let's talk about um, living with a 500 horsepower car in a very tightly populated city. <laughs> Can you enjoy your car living here? Uh, to its full extent, absolutely not. How about to half its extent even? Half extent, you could say you can, um, but it's... It's hard because, like, I mean, look at that. Like, we're already breaking the speed limit and we barely accelerated. There's no place to speed with this thing. Even if you're on the highway, but then, you know, you're doing pulls on the highway, you get caught at 100 over or whatever the case is, then you know, bye bye driver's license. So, the only real place you could take this out is like an open road course. And my buddy was telling me, Ginger, Gingerman, I think. Yeah. He said it's very open, there's no walls, there's grass runoff, so that's probably like the, and it's, you know, it's a, not a tight technical place, it's very free and open, so I might check that out this year, do maybe like one track day, to get, you know, to feel what this car can actually do, but yeah, in the city driving, it's nice to have V8 power, you know, you floor it, you're gonna smoke anybody off the line or whatever if you get traction, but to really enjoy it, nah. Yeah, I mean, you get your street credit from having this car. I mean, we're driving around and we see people looking at the car. It sounds good. It looks good. Um, but again, yeah, like, I don't know. Like your little GTI, which was so light, nimble, and, mm -hmm. and so much torque from that turbo motor down low. That itself was a, a joy to drive around this, you know, tightly knit city. Whereas this, with the longer gears and the higher RPM band, it's like you really can't redline it or try to you know open it up all the way it's a different kind of character uh, characteristic of the motor and, and the transmission correct that car gti was great and you know for a small perfect daily car i think the new golf r's have a lot of potential for what they are all-wheel drive small four banger spools quickly and they're pushing 400 plus wheel horsepower from that tiny motor with a few mods so it's it's pretty great yeah i think the with stage two which is just bolt-ons and tuning you you run like 11 and a half second quarter mile which is crazy hopefully but, one but, day they put the rs3 motor in the new golf r that is a bomb motor oh like the rs3s are they're they're ripping it man they're almost like 10 second cars oh yeah that with, five with cylinder turbo bolt. has power. But the thing is there there's still the all wheel drive system, it's it's a boring system. Like, you know, the joy you get from whipping out a real wheel drive car is just different. Yeah, I mean it all depends what you're looking for. If you're trying to be fast in a straight line, you know, that's what you go for. If you're trying to have some more fun in a car and more driver involvement, you need a rear wheel drive car. And I think you also need a stick shift, but that's just my opinion. Uh, these these new autos are so good. I don't know. I, I mean, I you know it's fun to drive a good stick shift here and there, but to daily a stick shift, I, I'm past those days. Well, well, I'll tell you, yeah, dailying it is hard, but also 
and you especially know, if you're making big power, you know. When I went to uh, the Lexus event, right at the at the local dealership, when we took the autocross uh, course with the RCFs, I didn't realize how how much involvement there is driving, turning, braking, and, and you know I. I can't imagine at the same time doing that, changing gears. Like exactly. Make sure I'm, I'm, I'm switching the gears properly, smoothly, in the right gear. There's so much movement. And then not only that, if you want to really get into like heel toe downshifting, and that, that's that's a really big skill that a lot of people will never master. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, you know. That's why a lot of people say, you know, autos are faster, but manuals are, you know, they're they're fun to drive. But if you want to be fast, it's, autos are the way to go. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're not dedicated, dedicatedly driving and tracking your car, you know, and if you're just driving around town and if it's your secondary car, I still would probably get a stick shift if, if I had the choice. Um, you know, you're not. Nobody's racing for speed in the city anyway. There's, it's you know, those tiny seconds that it makes a difference. It's, it's not gonna make a difference here on this pavement. True. There's, there's literally no place to go here. everywhere we freaking spotted like i don't know five cops already just on this short cruise yeah for all you people that are in illinois and are in the suburbs or like cornfield areas man you guys are lucky you got some nice roads not like us here for those street racers out there i've been locked up for <laughs> street racing that's right. And, and Rafael, you know, from Bullets Garage, he had to bail me and my friend out from a northwest suburb one night. This was a few mm, years ago. So many years so ago. Many I still years. had my first car, 95 Honda Civic. And what was crazy was, so our car, the, the cops were cool because they didn't tow our car. We actually pulled over into Burger King when they got us and they said they, they weren't going to tow the car. So that already saved our bill, you know. But they took us in, uh, questioning, pictures, everything, and then we were on bail. So I had to call Bullet's Garage because he's the only brother I have, right? And we we're waiting for him. It's already like, I don't know, 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the morning, and Bullet was coming from a party. Mm -hmm. So when he pulled into the police station, man, I knew he was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he risked drinking and driving to get his little brother and friend from jail <laughs> that's right so i'm forever grateful for that and you know we haven't been in trouble since we haven't been doing illegal street racing since but it was fun when we used to small little technical section by the highway here Catching air! Airborne there. <laughs> all, all over the place there, buddy. Jesus. Uh, talk about, we gotta step it up that suspension. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the fun we get. <laughs> and, and, that's, and that's the problem with roads that are, are cut. Every yeah. time you go over a divider, especially on a turn, you can easily lose oh, traction yeah. there. That will just mess you up real quick. Um, so I had an idea, because I always have clever ideas. I wanted him to put a spark plug wired into his exhaust. So it's gonna it's gonna get power, and whenever he presses a button, the spark is gonna how, spark. How are we gonna get power by doing oh, you just, that? You just connect it to a, a power. Oh, I, I mean, I thought you said meant we're gonna get horsepower gains from doing no, this. No, no, no. Power like positive battery terminal power. Yeah. And uh, you know, whenever you're redlining it. I'm sure this car burns rich. We'll just we'll just trigger that and see how if we can get any flames to shoot. <laughs> Would be interesting to see. Oh. 
but I was hoping this cruise would take my headache away. <laughs> but I don't think it's away. It might be worse. You want to try bedding in the brakes again? Maybe that will help no, your no, headache. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll puke like Frenchie did. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, it's on video. Sonata don't know it. <laughs> she don't watch my videos. My wife doesn't support my channel. She says I'm annoying. <laughs> You're always missing with your car. You're knowing stuff with your car. Yes, honey, yes, I am. Pretty substantial. We're going to that location where we, where I originally filmed uh, Bullets Garage Lexus review. If you guys are not familiar with that video, check out my channel Bullet Kid and uh, go ahead watch that review. That was my first review that I attempted to do, so it's not the best, but feedback welcome. It was a pretty good review in my eyes. Now the audio sucked really though. I didn't get the audio on point. Guys, okay, so. We are gonna do a couple pulls. Just wanna feel the power of this thing, so. That intake sound is pretty nice. All right, here we go. Manual mode. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See, it's shifted into second gear right off the bat. That ain't gonna fly. What was that? It went into second gear right away. You didn't have line lock? It went into second gear, like what? Really? Yeah, ridiculous. All right, let's try this again. And there's no traction, so maybe if I ease into it. That is moving. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I like. That felt good. This is much better than Chicago. All the warnings are on and I'm in second gear. Dude. Like, you can't do anything, dude. I gotta do the pedal dance if I wanna slide around. Wasted. This is what I'm gonna put right now. Wasted. Well, at least she still looks good. Come by the light. So what happened, dude? What has happened is uh, I tried to do a little donut and uh, Traction control freaked out. Uh, open that up again. Oh okay. yeah. Put me in second gear and turn up and turn down all the nannies that everything's broken and you can't do anything. So. So this is a sports car, they say, huh? Japanese sports Man. car. You gotta do the pedal dance or else you can't do nothing with it. 
But that pull, man, it was hauling. It hauled in the higher RPMs? Oh, yeah. yeah 7,000 and up is that's where this car shines. What was that? Went into gear right you didn't have line lock? Went into second gear, like what? Really? Hold on. Exhaust sound in the Lexus is like a recipe that uh, what's the guy from House Kitchen? Uh, it's Dave Ramsey, right? Gordon Ramsey. Gordon Ramsey. It's like Gordon Ramsey can't even find the damn recipe for the best sounding <laughs> RCF GSF exhaust. Man, to my shout out to my boy Diego Vossen. He is he's leading the way for the perfect exhaust sound. He's been through so many setups to find the perfect sound so man and he's still working on it we thought we had it figured out with ppe cat back with uh, secondary cats and resonators but it's still too too loud at the top end it's pretty raspy so currently he's running a pexy mid pipe with a ppe muffler delete and it sounds pretty glorious there's a little bit of rasp on top but once again, he's changing up the exhaust system again. I'm not gonna give it away because he doesn't want me to, but uh, it's gonna, it's getting more parts and it's gonna sound a lot louder, that's for sure. Check his Instagram at Diego Vossen, my boy. I noticed that my GoPro mount still hasn't fallen off your window over the last 40 minutes of driving through these potholes and, and accelerating. So that either means that that suction mount is sucked onto that glass really, really good, <laughs> or this car has no torque. <laughs> Which one is it? Comment below. Now, you know what it is? <laughs> it's this beautiful CKS coilover suspension oh. of Swift Springs that is so cushiony that it makes this ride tolerable on these horrible roads. It is tolerable, but it is a little soft in my opinion. Don't worry. But it would be really harsh. I think my headache would be even bigger if it was harder. Yeah, if I if I went stiffer on the yeah, just, on the just, adjustments, you'll be. There's just no compromise, man. In the city, oh, on a sports car. Yeah. Good thing this is not your daily, right? Because. That's right. It's my summer daily on nice weather days. Speaking of tomorrow, it's gonna snow and it's gonna be 30 degrees. <laughs> That's right. Today it is currently 46. Today it was like 55 and sunny, and tomorrow 30 and rain and snow flurries mix. So that's that's freaking awesome. They said accumulation one to three inches. Oh, if it accumulates, then uh, I'm moving to Florida, and Diego's gonna get me a job in Boston because I can't deal with this no more. <laughs> right, Diego, you got me right. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this little cruise and chat with Bully Kid and myself, please make sure you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the future videos we're both going to be posting. And, and for the real OGs, somebody please comment below if you stayed till the end. <laughs> yeah, you OGs, whoever watches to the end, comment below because we love you guys, but we want to know who that is. Take care. Peace.